Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today I wanted to talk about Void Tyrant. And Void Tyrant is a blackjack based roguelike that is hands down one of the best roguelikes I have ever played, and it has some of the best out of game progression systems I've seen recently. So it takes the overall concept of blackjack and builds a whole deep and satisfying gameplay system around it. So when you first start fighting enemies, you draw cards from your number deck giving you numbers between 1 and 6. And after you do that, your opponent then takes a hit and then you can take another hit if you want and you both just keep doing that until you either stop or you bust. So if you go over 12, you bust and the opponent automatically gets to attack you and if they bust, you automatically get to attack the opponent. Uh, otherwise, whichever of you has a higher number uh, attacks the opponent a single time for each number they're higher. And there's a lot of intricate stuff like blocking and armor and attack values and stuff like that, but the game does a good job explaining all of this, so I won't make this review any longer than it needs to be. But at the core, its game is all about getting a higher number than your opponent without busting. On top of just drawing your basic number cards, you have mana that you can spend on various cards that are in your other deck. And these cards can be things like number modifiers that add to your overall number, uh, crazy spells that do damage and apply status effects, or buffs that you can give to yourself. And this is where a huge amount of the depth comes into play. There's a ton of different builds and strategies you can go, and it really gives it a great deck building feel. Throughout your run, you'll also find and equip a ton of gear like boots, chest pieces, shields, weapons, and more that all give you different passive effects, and some of them even have active effects that add cards to your deck. And a lot of the cards that you play don't just instantly do their effect. Instead, they say things like, if you win the round, it'll do something. So there's a ton of risk versus reward decision making you have to make uh, in the game because sometimes you might be at like an 8 and you really want to draw another card to get higher because your opponent's at like a 9 or a 10, but you're scared because you might bust and take a lot of damage. And so pretty much you just try to go as far as you can and kill the final boss, but you probably won't win your first couple of games. And when you die, you get currency that you can use in various ways in your home base town thing. And this is where the game absolutely shines. The out of game progression is you kind of building up new buildings and statues and things like that that will give you passive bonuses and also unlock entirely new effects or mechanics. So early on I unlocked a new building that allowed me to get missions that are like little fetch quests that I slowly complete across runs that give me bonuses or can even unlock new classes which I'll touch on later. There are also statues that allow you to keep a single single card from a run to run or a ton more. You can also buy starting gear for your different classes and you can even unlock entirely new ones. There seems to be four different classes which doesn't sound like a lot but they all have drastically different playstyles and they all have a ton of depth and variety in each one. I almost have like 10 hours in the game and I still only have two classes unlocked and I still feel like I have a ton of stuff that I could explore just in those two classes. And when I finally beat the game for the first time it showed me an entirely new part of the depth to this game of unlocking rare spaceship parts and stuff like that and it's just amazing. The best roguelites are the ones that make the out of game progression so satisfying and deep and this game does exactly that. There's a lot more little mechanics and things I could talk about but the game does a really good job at slowly explaining and unlocking new mechanics so you never feel overwhelmed. Also the game is on mobile for free with microtransactions which is actually how the game originally came out, but they rebalanced everything and made a premium full PC version, which you can't even tell was originally a mobile game in my opinion. So if you are a fan of deck building roguelites, you need to pick this game up. I definitely think it is one of the most underrated games I've been playing recently, and it's a game that I'm still playing and covering on my channel as of recording this video, which by the way, if you want to see what full runs of the game look like, I have an entire Let's Play series on the game that I would highly recommend checking out. And if you enjoyed this video, then consider subscribing, ringing that bell like all the big boy YouTubers say to be notified when more reviews and Let's Plays like this come out. And if you're going to be grinding out some Void Tyrant on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.